pom-poms are a time-honored tool of cheerleading used all across the nation. But I bet you didn't know that NOAA scientists also use pom-poms, though their use is quite a bit different. Most pom-poms are made of plastic, and do you know what plastic comes from? Oil. Pom-poms are derived from the very same stuff that runs our cars. Interestingly enough, that's exactly why they have everything to do with cleaning up oil spills. Oil, plastic, and therefore pom-poms are all hydrophobic. That's hydro meaning water, and phobic meaning to fear. So oil and plastic don't mix with water, but they are attracted to each other. In this way, the oil and pom-poms stick together, and incredibly, oil is mopped up right off the water. This stick-together relationship between pom-poms and oil make the palms quite a diverse tool. For example, when there's an oil spill along the shores of the Mississippi River near New Orleans, pom-poms are tied together and laid along shorelines so that if the water rises or waves push them around, they will bind to any remaining oil, removing it from the river. These oil snares are also strung out away from the banks to capture oil floating down current. But pom-poms aren't the only way to clean up spills. Miles of booms contain oil along shorelines while pumps and skimmers attached to the front of boats suck it up. And just like at home when you wash your greasy hands, soap and warm water clean up oiled animals. Oil is also toxic to us, especially if it gets into fresh water that we depend on for drinking, like the Mississippi River. It's a busy place, so you might expect the biggest threat here comes from these oil tankers. But the mighty Mississippi also serves as a main drain for most of middle America. For half the oil that reaches the ocean worldwide comes from our neighborhoods and workplaces. Rain cleanses our cities, but carries the runoff into our waterways. It's important for us to be conscious of this and to make sure we dispose of oil properly so we can play our role along with pom-poms to keep our water clean.